In this video, we're going to learn about biomagnification. Is one particle large enough to make a difference? What about if we multiply it by 10? What about if it's multiplied by 100? Or 1,000? Or 10,000? This story starts out with a mosquito. People hate mosquitoes, and they carry deadly diseases like malaria. So in the 1940s, a chemical called dichloral diphenyl trichloroethylene, or DDT, was developed as the first of the modern synthetic insecticides. It was initially used by the military and then in civilian populations. It was very effective for insect control and in crops and livestock production, but energy flows. DDT's quick success as a pesticide and its broad use in the United States grew. And it worked. However, with energy flow in nature, mosquitoes, which are eaten by minnows, were then transferring the DDT from the mosquito into the minnow. Minnows, in turn, were eaten by fish like sunfish, but not just one fish, many fish. And that amount of DDT multiplied. But then the sunfish were eaten by even bigger fish, like a largemouth bass. But a bass is not just going to eat one sunfish. It's going to eat many sunfish. So the amount multiplied yet again. Now as a top predator, bald eagles are going to eat largemouth bass. And not just one, but many. Keep in mind that the only thing that died because of DDT was a mosquito. The rest of the animals in this particular chain of events were eaten just in the natural flow of energy. But now the bald eagle had tens of thousands of units of DDT in it. So what happened? Well, the eagles would lay their eggs and instead of incubating properly, those eggs would break. Without eggs, there are no eagles. But mama eagles aren't dumb. They would just lay more eggs. Mama eagles, after laying several clutches that didn't hatch, would probably die a little bit younger. So the population of eagles and even a bird called an osprey that also eats big fish like bass, numbers decline dramatically. So what happens when we kill a mosquito? Well, we have to think about energy flow because one mosquito might be eaten by a minnow, that might be eaten by a sunfish, that might be eaten by a bass, and then eaten by an eagle. And we don't want to have broken eagle eggs. We want to have healthy baby eaglets. Programs were designed so that eagles would have a little bit of a break. You see, what they did was they took the healthy eggs before they would break and replaced them with something that looked like an egg to fool the eagles. These eggs then were incubated and then the eaglets were replaced in the nest when they were hatched. This program was very successful. So what we have is healthier eagles and we have more of them. Biomagnification still exists and DDT is still the culprit, but we've definitely eliminated a whole lot of what DDT flows through the energy system.